Hey guys, welcome to The Vault. Um, we are back with some more exclusive content. Uh, Leon and Pierre here with special guest John from Inc. Park Co. Um, today we're going to um, talk about Clink Room. Clink Room uh, went on a brief hiatus. Um, they resurrected themselves last year. It's been about a year now mm -hmm. um, ever since they came back. So we're here to give you guys a, an updated collection video and kind of show you um, what's landed so far and, and talk, talk all things Clink. So, Pierre. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm looking really, I'm really looking forward to talking through these. I have about 60 of these. I know you guys have quite a few. And as always, no clink video will be complete without one of my favorite clinkers, um, John. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and Leon, you're a clinker too. Yeah, so are you. I'm a clinker. Um, we're all, <laughs> we're all, all three of clinkers. us are clinkers. Yeah. Um, I've done some great stuff with um, John. You've done some great stuff with Tony Ross. But I think what's fantastic about this and what's been most exciting about the last year with the clink room is just the diversity in, in their sort of content, right? And what they provide um, their customers. And I love a lot of it. And I didn't buy any of these just to buy them. Each one of these designs I really did like. Um, and I know you guys have a few of these as well. So we're gonna certainly kind of bounce back and forth as we come across one that maybe you have in the collection. But I thought, why don't we just like go in chronological order and Leon, you'll help me because you have the production tracker up uh, yes, to kind of fill some gaps because some of these things might be hard for me to remember because there's a lot of them, a, a lot. lot of creators. <laughs> but we're going to start with um, one of the first uh, one of the first um, editions of the uh, 2.0, and that was um, Plucky Kong. Do you remember the initial excitement over? I believe it was like the first like 14 or 15 pre-orders. You know, they kind of teased it a little bit, and then they just dropped them all at once. And oh, then yeah. it was like, okay, now, now what, like, what do we get now? Like, it was just so much to choose from so many different artists. It was so cool. Well, what's, what was crazy about that is, ah, oh, Pencil Kong. Yeah. What Pencil was crazy Kong. about that was we didn't know how many would be coming out either. Mm -hmm. I mean, original clink, it wasn't nearly as much as we're getting now. So, yep. Pencil, yeah, I think this took people by surprise. I think everyone thought there was just going to be a few. This is from John. This is one of John's uh, creations. This is Pencil Kong. Um, and then they started to say, oh my God, there's going to be six of these every week. And people <laughs> were like, oh my God, you know, and then it created like a lot of angst. People were like, oh my God, I can't believe there's going to be that many of them. Do you guys remember this one? Yep. Death yeah. Dog by Gula. G Y L A. Has I, think that like one this one? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think, think so. so. This is a great looking hat, though, right? Yeah, yeah it's a good looking hat. Old Terrier looks like yeah mm -hmm. i wish it didn't have the black under but it's still cool what do you as pierre showing these what do you guys think of the choices that they're bringing back for some of the re-releases oh that was a cool one kilgrims uh, kilgrims by tj this is really uh, a lot i think some were super necessary like the flamingos was a real cool choice that the, was their first the, one to come back and it was well Frenchies. worth it Frenchies was a cool choice. Some of them a little bit more questionable. I think this is Jason from Brandios that 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 put this one together, right? Count yeah. Kongula. This Count thing is pretty Kongula. cool, man. This thing is menacing, right? Uh -huh. This is definitely one I'm glad they brought back. Yeah, I slept on the original one like a Me too. Idiot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, that one's Ephra. Ephra. Ghost yep. Army, right? Yes, sir. Now, I'm going to show you the Hat Club version, too. So this one, I believe, glows in the dark, right? This is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And then the Hat Club version, which just recently dropped, has a digi camo or something, yep. right? Has there's the there's the front of the cap, and then it has that digi camo under. Yeah, that's badass. It's good, right? That's a yeah. good hat. You see, that one still stays with the original kind of essence of how it is, but yeah. then just made a cool little change. Yeah, yeah and Leon, uh, I know you have this one, so you can show yours as well, but. This one caught everyone, man. Everyone's like, oh, my God. This thing looks like a straight-up minor league baseball logo, right? Yeah, I still don't have that one. <laughs> there it is, man. I believe there's three versions, right? So There's three out. versions, yeah. There's yeah. three. The one hasn't landed, landed yet. Yeah. So there's this version. Then Hack Club re-released it in this version, yep. which is really cool. And Pinker. now there's like a Miami Vice looking one, right? It's like a neon sign one. Yeah, but, yeah. Re out. but that one wasn't a re-release. That's a new clinker. clinker yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a new clink design. Yes. Yeah. But it's still it's this it's this logo done yeah. in like a neon no, it's, it's, sign. It's thing. a great it's a great logo, and I'm I'm sad I missed on it, but I'm sure they'll bring it back. 
Now, uh, Leon uh, knows what this yeah. one is. That was probably one of the best first ones that came out that I liked. Oh, I like this one a lot. Yeah. A lot. Yeah, this Tony, is the, I mean, Tony just killed that one. Some people hated the big logo. I actually loved it. I like it, too. I liked it. With that gray under and that, that gray sw squatchy. This is a great-looking hat. Mm -hmm. Now, this is one of my all-time favorite hats, man. <laughs> Not many people have this one. No, no. Nope. You know what I think it was too. A lot of people slept on this one because they were they were like, "Oh my god!" I didn't realize how many of these were coming out each week, and they they couldn't afford it when they got to this one. That's what I think because that whole run. But uh, this John one could definitely this. come back. Come oh back. yeah, this should be done in a bunch of different colors. You know, this we'll see what so happens. Cool. You know, I mean, I love Air Max, and that was the whole point of me and Casey doing that one was. It's kind of was my first logo but a lot of people didn't know who i was or what anything is you know because it was mm -hmm. so early i think this was the first collector's edition right am i right or no yeah, yeah. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa Kong. Yeah. that's just one of those hats you just put in the case and let it show because oh yeah really i am cool. not i am not wearing this thing man that's for sure yeah. like you need gloves to handle it i mean they yeah, knew no. that when they released it they told you like you know this is, is it, taboo. It, it's still it's still like a poly right it's not mm -hmm. wool or anything. Yeah, it's okay. poly. And yeah, this one. That one came out good too. Maple skulls. Yeah, by uh, Luke. Oh, they re released that too, right? In the green. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna show yes. you guys in a second. Yeah, look at. It. So this one's pretty cool. And then they re released it. It was around St. Patrick's Day, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That look one's really that, cool. Man. The embroidering on that is just so good. Yeah, I love this hat. Then Aurelian hit us with this one. I don't know if you have this one, Leon. Oh, the double. Okay. I didn't. I don't know what I was thinking. That thing is just... Wasn't that the controversy of that one? Or was everyone was saying it was like the blue, the Duke the, blue the devil? Duke. Yeah. I don't. I mean. I don't. Whatever. I don't think so. Yeah. I, I mean, if they really released that in a Duke colorway, I would buy it too. <laughs> like. <laughs> oh, this, this one's crazy. Two of my favorites coming up here too. Sidekicks. Oh yeah, sidekicks. Yeah. J H. J Hunt and Fairweather League. Fairweather League, yeah, but yeah. And Jay has come out with some gems since, you know. Yeah. Shout out to him. I'll put on one of my newer ones from him. Yeah. Then you had Red Wing Blackbirds. J Matz. That was our first uh, introduction to him, I think. Yeah, this is his first. This is his first Clint Cat. A lot of these artists we knew coming in, but a lot of them we didn't. So that's what was cool about Clean Crew is it introduced us to a whole world of designers who were not necessarily making hats. And, and, and that Jay, has, that Jay has improved over time too as well. Sorry, Pierre. Okay. But yeah. Um, but that one came out really good. And Pierre, you called that early. You're like, watch the embroidery on this one. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, I knew that one was gonna it's gonna be sick. And I and I wasn't, you know, I wasn't wrong about that. That thing's crazy. This one was also a sleeper. Yeah, Hammerheads by Jordan. This one was another one that was re-released by uh, by uh, Pack Club too. I'm that sure one original was. colorway changed, right? I think the original one was supposed to be navy or something or darker. I could be wrong. It's so long ago now. Look at this. That yeah, was the. Badass. I actually, I'm not sure which one I like better. This one's like a cooler feel to it, like a more of a spring feel. But that other one's cool too. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. That one it feels like you would take it on a fishing boat. But this looks like it could be this looks like it could be a minor league baseball team, right? Yeah. 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 That's the only thing I would have probably done a little bit differently on that one is probably put the tail behind the second line. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Just because at first I didn't even know it was an H. Oh yeah, the purple. The king. Omar. Cat fiend, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That one came out really good. Then uh, there was card sharks. I got that. Oh, yeah. By New England Fittage, right? Yeah. Yep. By Ryan. This one can easily be brought back. Oh yeah, that one's a great, great hat. I slept on that one too. I mean. Early on, a lot of the clink ones, it was just like, there were so many coming at you, you know, 
Mm -hmm. You had to be kind of picky and choosy on which ones you wanted. Medusa. Another Aurelian. Aurelian, you know, he does some clean work, man. I mean, look at what he's done with Noble. You know what I mean? He came up with a lot of mean ones right off the trot. That's why we right then he did him Then he did that hippo one, which is all happy and sassy, right? Yeah. yeah. So we were calling him like the king of mean for a while. Yeah, yeah. And then, Leon, you know which one this one is? I think this is a, one of the top sellers for Clink, I would imagine. This one. Clink call. Yeah. Another another classic. This one might have by, uh, Tony. This one may have spurned the, the other uh, like x-ray versions, maybe. I don't know who knows. All right, so one of my favorites of all time, too. I'm going to show you the original version I've been wearing a lot lately. I love this hat. On Catalina? Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. I told – listen, I, John, I don't know if you remember me saying this. I said they're going to pull it off somehow. Yeah. The wings. No, I remember. And, and they did, man. They pulled it off. And – I like the mono version, the original version better, but then Hat Club brought it back with this, which is also cool. Um, that two-tone version. Didn't sleep on this one, though. <laughs> oh, you yeah. got that one too, John? Oh, yeah. Didn't sleep on it. This thing is crazy, man. This is this is a beauty, man. Beauty. The, ir the iridescence and the wings and that little subtle. Yeah, they, that they did a good change job on that one. Man. This is one that I was wrong on. I thought they were going to be able to pull it off. The design is fantastic, but there's too much detail too many, in this. Murder and I, think I, I think I said that early on. I was like, I don't know, man. That that detail is just too small. This you is know? one of the only ones I think they really, in my opinion, didn't execute. But I don't know if it was executable. Mm -hmm. it, you know, when you look at the brass knuckles, yeah, maybe what they should have done instead of trying to get those holes in there is just – made it solid with like and then vary the the depth of the actual because you could have actually filled them in and you would have known what it was oh you guys want to see you guys want to see another sleeper oh yeah. gumshoe tq like clinker tq i actually that. like the you know what's T crazy is when you when you look at as we're looking through the production I feel like the early clink hats had a lot more color and were, you know, there was a lot more to it. Dude, this is crazy, right? This thing is sick. Yeah. The waffle, the waffle print came out really good. Mm -hmm. All right. And then uh, the dog then, pack, Leon, you ready? The dog league got introduced, basically. Mm -hmm. Afra. Yep. They did a good job. Yeah. Then you had this one, it, this one, like, just about broke shit, right? Yeah. This one. This is another one that has basically three versions. So that's the Hat Club version, the original. And then they did, a, like, an x-ray x -ray, with, uh, yep. with it. The x-ray is much like the as the uh, South Florida Flamingos. It's not – it's an – like, it's yeah. Yeah, it hasn't landed yet, but this this thing is crazy. This one to me with that black under with a pink over like the pink visor is just insane because it's like the opposite of what you see. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's like a it's like the perfect black nasty. Yeah, it is. This is one black nasty I can do, man, because it just it's just so cool. And then um what last one I'll show from this bin is uh Snapper Island by uh J Matz. Mm -hmm. So I got one that you didn't get. I think uh, the Rough Riders. By Jason. Oh yeah, yeah. And you ended up getting a dog looking like this too, eh, Pierre? So yeah, I did. I ended up getting a bulldog, and then I now I don't have that hat. Yeah. But uh, so yeah. uh, you know, T eight hundred. Bring this one back for Pierre. Yeah, please, please. So, uh, Leon, is there any more that I missed? Do you have Sammy there? I have Sammy. Yep, right here. Why don't you show Sammy? Because I'm uh, I'm moving into the next bin here. Still mint condition. Hasn't touched my head yet. Oh, man. I mean, I love – so a little bit about Sammy was we ended up putting that uh, – we had a good design, but then we said – then Casey suggested putting that chain halo, which I think was probably the best part of it all, right? I mean yeah. – I think a big, big sleeper 
um, that we're that we are going to pass in the production tracker is uh, Vandals by Austin. Oh yeah, I didn't so get that. that. One, I, I know a lot of people slept on it. I slept on it, but the embroidery on that was you. Killer. You didn't get it, uh, John, or no? No, I didn't. It was too plain of a design for me, and I, and it's one of those ones where when you look at it, you're like, you didn't know he was going to do that, right? <laughs> so. Yeah. It's just one of those ones where you're like, ah, man, I don't, I don't know. Res balls is good. Now we're moving to res ball. Marlin, Marlin's put out, I think, like three or four of them with, with Casey now. Great hat. I, and I missed on that one, man. I should have got that one. But man, I, I, I can't be like, I have to be more picky and choosy, as most people are. So <laughs> this that one, one came I, out great. This one also, much like your fresh sidekicks, um, John, almost didn't make it. Right. Really? Yeah. And it's, it came out so good. This was one that shocked me, honestly. Well, the embroidery on it is just amazing. Yeah, this one almost didn't make it. That's a great one. And then another one from the Capologist, uh, Leon and uh, Tony, was this one, which I think is absolutely amazing, which is... Uh... This is right at the height of people accusing uh, Hat Club of being botted. So mm -hmm. we had thought of the bot pirates or the that classic the cart pirates, yeah. classic pirates colorway too with the green on yep. the cart jackers, bot pirates. You know that whole play on words of getting jacked. Well, that one came back. Mm. This one did come back. Yeah, this is this thing is like crazy. That came out really good. I very did. very rays esque. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually took photos of it with um, the Tampa Bay Rays hats next to it. Oh, Nerd Kong. Mm -hmm. like Casey. This is one I thought Casey. was really cool because uh, because of the that whole nerd concept. It's just really cool. Yeah. yeah. I don't how do you like the 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 tone on the same brim up and down? Like I don't like it, but the, the design itself is so cool. Yeah. I just had to I would do have it. done a blue under, I think, like the baby blue under. Yeah, yeah, I would have too, but I do or even like, like a navy under would have been really cool too. Yeah. Oh, murder, murder bears, right? Or no, scare, scare bears. bears. Scare bears. There we go. Scare bear countdown. That's so cool. These Jason are sick, D. right? Yeah. I can't bring myself to wear a lot of these things. That's the problem, too. Well, it's not because I don't want to. It's because I don't want to. It's not because I don't like them. It's because I don't want to mess them up. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Kurt, that one's a good one. Kurt W. Yeah. Beer bombers. It's a great baseball cap, right, for the baseball game. Mm -hmm. Next up. Aztec? Yeah. Siak. Miguel. You're seeing them as I grab them, huh, Leon? Uh, well, no, I'm seeing them in the production tracker. I kind of remember, like, what you buy and stuff. <laughs> this is pretty cool, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The next we didn't think this would work because it, it was so detailed, but they dumbed it down a little bit to make it work, and it came out really nice. Yeah. Oh, this is – all right, John. We're going with John, right? John's yeah, on deck. I fucking love this thing, man. Oh, yeah. This is – I doubled up on this one. This is one I can wear, too. Well, I got, I got a, little oh, hair on, a little hair on here that I want to get off. It's not my hair, obviously. I have no hair. Look at this thing. Look at, look at this thing. Tar cats. This pays homage to what the La, La Brea tar pits. Uh, yeah, and just you know, Manny Ramirez, man, that guy was like My full tar. of tar, dude, all yeah. the time. I and uh, he, you know, it was it was an homage to that too, like because he's got the pill hat on, and you know, so that's yeah, cool. Just just one of my faves. This was a sleeper too. I don't know. I have, I've always as a kid, I've loved those like barber shop like sort of lights mm. outside of the outside of the barbershop and cool. i used to i used to love going to the barbershop as a kid honestly waiting i'm um, in the barbershop with my dad and just kind of listening to the people like guys gossip it's guy gossip is just as intense as female gossip i don't care what anybody says right they're all everyone's a gossip but look at this thing barbarians and that's the same thing like the underbrim and the top brim same huh yeah, but you know what? It's got a shaving cream type feel to it. Do you know what I mean? It's almost like got a, you, it, it kind of fits the, it kind of fits it for some reason. 
I don't know. I, I really like this hat. That's a cool little logo. Um, Jacobo killed this one. Um, I think that's one a lot of people slept on. Now, here's one that, uh, John, you and I kind of collaborated on. Oh, yeah. The Taco League. This is when the Taco League was in full effect. Well, yeah, one of the most menacing, menacing of all of the uh, clink designs. Look at this thing. This guy is It's got the green under, like the vault green. Oh, yeah. This thing, dude, is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, Air Max 95 vibes. Mm -hmm. All right, so now this one is great to CBS Inc. Pit Vipers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They got the x ray version of that, too. Yeah, I'm going to show that later. Thing is intense, man. This one's kind of like eh, but I had to get it because it's just a it's just a classic con cap. Mm. Yeah. This needed a grander. It did, but this is it's you know, like it's Tony. A la Tony Ross, a lot of times black hats with black unders. That's not as bad as anything. You know, that's not as bad yeah. as having just, you know, a black. We were nitpicking at that point, right? Yeah, yeah. But this is one you have to have just because because it's just a classic, simple con yeah. hat, you know. And then you got, all right, so we got this one is another one. This got some uh, LL Cool J vibes. Home um, slice. I, you know, I don't like food hats, but this one is definitely a good one. Home yeah, slice. that one came out good. I do have that one too. Oh, I must have left them in the pile. But yeah, I have that one as well. I'm just hoping that they abandon a lot of these black unders now. Please stop doing it. Please, 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 please. Yeah, we please. definitely need more color in there. Imagine if that had like a cheesy, cheesy yellow oh, under or all. like yeah, yeah or but, red. You know what? You know what would have worked if they if they made the top red or that gold like the the squatchy uh, and yeah. a black under. You know what I mean? Yep. This one actually came out really well. I like that purple. The purple, the colors are what really, really, um, really killed it. Yeah, they just look fantastic. Clinker Carter. Yep, this is a good one, man. This one I like a lot too. If you remember, this one had some wild mock-ups at first with multiple heads and shit, but this. This they simplified it and hive mind came out really nice too. Yeah, I didn't I didn't get that one either. I don't know, man. There's something that is a cool looking hat, man. I mean the embroidery looks really good. I definitely like that embroidery. Yeah, me too. All it right, like Leon. Is it a brewer? Is it a brewer's colorway? Uh, maybe with really. like a gold. It's like, I don't know. It's not quite the blue, not quite the royal. It's like a dark, a light navy, maybe. Mm. This is uh, one of Leon's favorites. This is actually one of my favorites, honestly. The moonshot. Oh, the moonshot. <laughs> Leon's dirty. The infamous, mind the infamous moonshot. This uh -huh. is a great hat, right? It's a good hat. Another CBS Inc. This thing was took me by surprise. When I got this one, I wasn't sure if I should have gotten it. And then when I got it in hand, I'm like, all right, I should have. I, I needed it. Oh, yeah. That one came out really good. Cyber horns. Mm -hmm. He colored it in, like, so many different colors. It's crazy how he uh, went to that one. This 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 was the right way to go. Mm -hmm. And then Jay Matt's hit us. There's some Halloween-type ones coming next. So Jay Matt's hit, hit us with this one. No, sir. No, sir for, uh, true. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Yeah, either way, it's cool. It's the corn is, candy, dude. This the worst is the, candy of all. This is crazy though, looking right. Mm -hmm. He did a really good job with this off the wall stuff. I hate candy corn. Then you had uh, executioner. Yeah, this one. This one came out really well. Really, really well. The Thai cob. Really well. Mm hmm. That embroidered really well. Then you had Jacobo hit us with the uh, horseman. Yep. He did a good job with this too, man. Got an awful lot into a little space, that's for sure. Yeah. A lot of people have trouble sometimes where to cut off, like, you know, three quarter or half body stuff. He did a good job there. That, so that, my, uh, my Moby's Revenge was should have came out with that group. Yep. Yes. I was, so dis I was so disappointed when I found out I'd have to wait. Yeah, it says May now, so we'll see. 
Oh, that one came out really good too. Yeah. Jailbirds by David. Mm -hmm. This is one at first I wasn't completely sure of, but I said this is probably gonna look pretty. This is probably gonna look good. So let me give this one a shot. I think we've all learned over the years how to look at a mock-up and make it kind of come to life in our own minds if we've been doing because we've been doing this for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Some folks can't do that, but we certainly um, have the ability to to do to guess better than most. Now we're getting to some of the really new stuff. Mm. This one, the first time around, was like the panda. So that one was kind of almost infringing on some stuff to some yep. degree, I would say. Uh, right. Probably probably unintentionally, but this one looks pretty cool, man. Yeah. The cool thing about Austin is like, drip. Yeah. The cool thing about Austin is that, like, when you look at his kind of portfolio, all his hats look completely different. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. And then when we worked on, he did um, Arctos, right? Mm hmm. Well, well, Fairweather. Monsters. This guy is known for this kind of this kind of shit now, right? I mean, yeah. Now we're getting into territories of stuff I ordered but hasn't reached me yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then, <clears throat> that was like the Dragon Week. They had like three or four dragons that week. Oh, uh, they had Klepto Dragon too, which I'll show soon. Yeah, um, Klepto, I think somewhere in here. And Brad from Down Under. Yeah, he did a killer job on that. This, Brad racing, drop bears. This thing is crazy. When you start to look at these as a whole, it's pretty impressive, right? Mm -hmm. All right, here's one that I thought was absolutely insane when I saw it. I'm like, all right, I got to get this thing. And I don't think a lot of people did, but... Change-ups? Yeah, I messed up. Yeah, I didn't get that one. Dude, but it's it just came like, out really good. Yeah, it's just... It came out incredibly good. Like, the tail kind of disappears here got that baseball reference this thing is fantastic man there's one in this batch that i miss or that i regret not getting it's the snow monkeys by jason b uh, i didn't like that one no I no like i love jason one. i love jason seeing, b. I didn't seeing like the that. embroidery it looked really good mm -hmm. bp mercenaries shout out to uh blaze and paco dude that thing is sick right it's like i love anything hip-hop inspired and john and i are gonna be working on some of that stuff too but this is crazy, man. All right, we got a few left here. Another one of my favorites from my good friend John here. Oh yeah, that's like one of my. That's probably one of my favorites to date. Just the colorway. Oh, I love especially it too. Especially now that it's summer, it's like, boom. Such a great colorway. It's menacing, but menacing in a good way. Mm -hmm. All right, now you got the one we were just talking about, Klepto Dragons. Yeah, I can't wait to get mine in hand. Look. <laughs> no, so good. Yeah. So good. Did you get the Magnus Dragon beer? No. See, that one, I think, suffered from dragon fatigue. There were too many dragons really, out there at one yeah. time. If they just sort of released it another week, I would have got it, too. But it if they like, re-release it on Hat Club in a different color, I'll get it. But this, this thing is crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. All right, so last one I'll show is Jason Mead's um, The Undertaker. Yeah. Mine got messed up, so Casey had to hook me up with something different here. Yeah, that one came out good, too. Yep. I'm just not huge on skulls and stuff, so it's like... <laughs> yeah, I think you're tired of the skulls, John. I can tell. Every time we get to something more menacing and evil, it's like, all right, uh, please stop. <laughs> nah, you know, I like the... I mean... The dragons are cool. Like I just like the different stuff. I mean, you see yeah, a lot of skulls I, on things. Yeah, I totally. I mean, if you could it. do it, like I, I mean, I did one on here. I mean, if you look at it, it's on the it's on the ice cream cart. But yeah, you know, I try to do. If I'm gonna do it, I'm trying to do it different. You know, yours is kind of like, it's like, cartoon scary, funny scary. Yeah. You know, it's in a good way. It's like I don't know. It's like, I don't know. It's not even scary. I don't know how to how to describe it. It's a different feel to it. So then we yeah, get into I'm the like, x-rays, right? That just released. This is yeah. um, Sidekicks, right? Yep. By Fairweather League. This came out really well. And for these, they changed all the uh, back hits. That's badass. Like that in itself could be a hat. I still yeah, do not oh, yeah. have a glow in the dark. Can you believe that? Oh, man. We're going to have to change that. We're going to have to get you the right one. I know. Murder Birds. This one actually landed before the original, original uh, Murder Birds. Mm -hmm. Then you have Austin. 
the bats. Yeah. The bats, yeah, that one came out good. I didn't get the original. Yeah, they kind of humanized that skull, which I thought was a cool move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one came out really well too. Oh my god. Yeah. It's crazy, right? The stuff that they released, man. Like some this one. Yeah, that one came out really good. I wish Sammy had come out with this in this version, you know, but it just missed oh. the cut. Yep. This one is crazy. Yeah. This was a crazy take on it. And yeah. then they, I feel like they almost did something that kind of looks like that with Lane. And I think it was Aurelian did a like a space guy. And then when it glows in the dark, he turns kind of evil like that. That was kind Ooh, of you know which one I'm looking forward to is um is it werewolves? We'll try. What's the one with the rabbit? Oh yeah, it's like the werewolves. Yeah, the mm. one is yeah with the glow in the dark. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I had it here. Hold on. It was the yeah. hairs or something. Hairwolves. Uh, hairwolves by Jason. Hairwolves. Yeah, that thing is gonna be crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, I yeah, but wait. that. Shams, Shams oh, is back. Yeah, yep. Well, yeah, but we didn't have anything that landed yet, so um, we kind of hang tight. And then once we get those, we can show those off. But for now, those are the ones that have landed that are in my collection. You guys kind of chimed in with yours as we kind of moved along. Um, but I don't know, man. Happy one year, right? To the clink room, happy yeah. one year, you know. Yeah, it's been now as you see it all kind of like as we're showing hats and stuff it's pretty crazy to think that over the past year all of these things have cut like <laughs> been created put into production and landing at people's homes and that's just the start man um it's pretty impressive you know and, and to see all the different artists that have kind of been relied upon to create stuff it's crazy you have people collaborating with one another it's it's created so much i don't know good energy out there and obviously anything can be criticized and critiqued but at the end of the day, this produced some great, um, some some great product and also some great relationships, which is cool. Um, and it really pushed community. Like that's kind of how the original Clink Room was. It was a lot of like back and forth and community interaction and updates, and edits and changes and whatever. But you know, now they kind of got it down to a science. You know, Monday morning crits, you get that down. You go to pre-order. You last for a while and you, you get the hat in. So um, they pretty much got it down to to a science. So it's really exciting. Well, John and I um, have talked so much about this stuff as our relationship continues to grow. And we, you know, we're, we're friends and we we, uh, we become even closer friends. And a lot of our the content of our conversation so it revolves around clink room stuff. You know, it's kind of interesting. It leads into other things and other conversations, which is which is really cool. And, um, you know, I want to say, John, before we wrap up, I want to say you are uh, one impressive, impressive artist. And every time you do something, be it with clink room or outside of clink room, um, listen, man, it always amazes me. And I tell anybody I can talk to about your talents and what you bring to the table, because to me, it's it's incredible to watch people like you create. Um, oh, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, no. And, and like everything you do is is special to me. Um, you, you know me, man. I'm just a hustler. That's no, all. I know, man. You're always hustling. You're always, always hustling. hustling. I can't keep up. But uh <laughs> But uh, listen, this was fun, guys. Um, I really yeah. appreciate you guys jumping on to kind of show this stuff off and wish uh, Clink a one year, Clink 2.0, a one year anniversary, right? A birthday. Um, yeah. Kong turns, Kong 2.0 turns one, which is pretty cool. But we'll have more content coming. But with that, Leon, big fella, take us away. Yeah, let us know in the comments, you know, which of the Clink uh, 2.0 hats are your favorite. Um, let us know which ones you are uh, most looking forward to uh, receiving. Until next time, you know, stay fitted. We out. See you, everybody.